All right, the Graz is here. We'll lead you uh, right into this conversation we've been having here okay. uh, about uh, about the power the power structure, the flattened hierarchy here in Seattle. That, that have you ever I, had a flattened hierarchy, Graz? It's very painful. Yeah, especially the older you get. Yeah, yeah. it's very very painful. You don't want to have a flattened hierarchy. No, no. Except in this case, it's worked out pretty well. Did you ever think else. it would work here? Were you were, were you on the group, no. were you part of the group who just said there's no chance this can work? Well, I was part of the group that didn't think Pete Carroll would work, so I never got to the. You know whether or not this this convoluted management structure would work. I never thought he would work. So, I'm. I guess yes. I'm. Su- I, I guess I'm surprised <laughs> that it did. And no, I didn't think it would. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm yeah. the best answer because I never thought. I mean, you know, there wasn't a lot to recommend from his last tenure. I talked to some people who would played for him before and said, you know, he's he just doesn't fit with with uh, with pro players. I mean, he fits with college players. So, to me, it seemed like the whole thing was a mistake. When he first came in, oh, I'm and the same al- way. Well, yeah, and it felt like you know, hey, this was this was getting out in front of uh, in front of the posse, so to speak, down there in Southern California, that the sanctions were coming down, and and that was why he was leaving in the first place. Because why would he have left there? I mean, it was such a such a perfect situation. So whether or not that was true was immaterial. And obviously, as, as things came and showed us, uh, they had exactly uh, a perfect idea. Of what and, they the, to do. and the next step of the process almost made it even worse because I was with you. I had, you know, I had been a Patriots fan. I, I never thought Pete Carroll would work again in the NFL, and if he did, I figured it would be a spectacular flop. I was wrong. I've told him I was wrong. I've apologized to him <laughs> because I was. We were all wrong. Yeah, he, he's done a remarkable job in his tenure here in building this team. But the first thing that they did once he got here was create this what appeared to be ridiculous power structure that nobody had ever seen before. He interviewed the GM, which is usually the guy that hires the coach. Right. Like that's 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 really what happened. And as that process started and you understood that Pete Carroll was going to be interviewing guys, I thought he was going to hire someone that he was friends with. I thought he was going to hire someone like Pat Kerwin. Mm-hmm. I thought he was going to hire someone who was sort of a friend of Pete in there. And he ended up working with in collaboration with Liwicki to hire a guy who he'd never worked well, with. Well, that's the next guy I wanted to ask you about because as you go through it, uh, there's two other names that, that need to be brought into the conversation. For this to be successful, clearly both Pete and John have to have the right personality for it. They have to have a personality that meshes with each other, and that's worked out very well. What role did Tim Wy- did Liwicki play in this, and what role did does McLaughlin, McLaughlin play in this? I'm not sure about McLaughlin's role because he came in afterwards, so he, he needed to plug in. But uh, Todd Lewicki is a guy who's very, very successful at what he does, and it's, it's shown as to where he's been and, and where he's gone to since he was here. I mean, the 12th man flag, all of that is Todd Lewicki. I mean, he's one of the one of the best marketers in terms of that I have ever seen. So, um, you know, he, he – how much credit he deserves. I mean, this, this as you've heard the tori- story told, and I'm sure as Danny has heard the story told too, you know, this was a, a, up at the very top original decision on the original guy. And I get the sense that once they made that decision, it was like, okay, we're not going to let you pick whoever you want to be GM. We'll let you have voice in it and then run your organization. And that's what I think happened more than anything else. That's why I don't think the, the departure of Todd Lightwicky necessarily hurt all that much. I don't think I don't I don't think that it was it was an organization modeled after his ideas. I think it was an organization modeled after Pete Carroll's football ideas. Football wise, you mean? And 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 really beyond football too. Well, I think it it was also he, he, Todd Lightwicky deserves the credit for setting up the structure the way it was and for getting two guys who understood where their role was that each was reporting up. John Schneider does not report to Pete Carroll, and and Pete Carroll does not report to John Schneider. Right. And it's a little bit unique in that way. They both report up to, in this case, it was Todd Lewicki, and now it's Peter McLaughlin, through to the owner. Graz is absolutely right. The decision on hiring Pete Carroll, that came from above. That was an impetus that that Paul Allen decided that they were going to reset. That they were going to, they were going to hit Control Alt Delete, and they were going to, they were going to re- do a full system restart. Right, right. And getting Pete Carroll in here, and then it was, how do you get that guy? Because Paul Allen had decided after the previous relationship with Mike Holmgren, after Mike Holmgren came here as coach and GM, he wasn't going to do that again. Nobody was going to have all the juice again. Nobody was going to be the grand poobah of all things football again under him. And they ended up creating a situation that required those two guys to work together to come to a consensus. And the two guys deserve credit for making it work because other personalities wouldn't have Hmm. and other personalities don't. 